Okay, welcome everyone. Let's full start our lesson one. Today lesson will go through LO1. My name is Anjum Sathar and my email address Anjum at UKVST.co.uk. If you have any question, please drop me email. I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, before starting this unit, we'll go through what we're supposed to be learned. Uh, this unit is, of course, we are doing OTHM level seven, diploma in logistic and supply chain management. And it's a level seven and it's a mandatory unit. Of course, you know, if you don't complete this unit, if you don't pass, of course, you know, so you're not going to get your full qualification. So and the assessment criteria will be only assignment. That's why you have to submit, you know, 4,500 words uh, assignment need to write. And the aim of this unit to develop learner understanding. So we have to develop understanding, but this is a level seven. So we not just develop understanding, we'll try to be implement. So more commercial awareness need to be and more research oriented uh, approach need to be adopt and including scope, impact and importance as well as the strategic decision. How decision making is mean the selecting the best course of action. We have various alternative in our lives. We have to find the best option. So best option to find and according to one of the great scholar, uh, Neil Robin, one of the economists, he mentioned we have unlimited wants, we have unlimited resources. And uh, these from these limited resources, we have to find the best op option to use them effectively at right time, at right place. So that need to be in today world, global supply chain management, global market, of course, global market and taking into account major competitive drivers at the moment of course major competitive driver is supply chain play a huge role in our organization success and failure so if we manage the supply properly like you know we have a here in the uk and the rest of the world you know many companies how they relocate and their it system is addressing all these you know different issues uh, making and they're just working as a middleman and they're not really you know so they the cash flows and all other issues can be addressed so discuss the supply chain operational management practices and appropriate uh, and approaches in a range of contexts all will discuss these and we'll try to relate them and understand the key of our learning outcome one is about understand the key operations supply chain management concept and theories and strategies. So we'll try our best, you know, some theories and some strategies we'll discuss, but we can enhance it. We're not restricted to our discussion, which we'll go through today lesson, but we can enhance it. So evaluate. So we have a key command verb. Always, you know, these are assessment criteria and we have to focus on the command verb, which is evaluate concept and the principle. So here is evaluate. So we always need to be look around two side of the coins and then we have to evaluate and the based on the facts and figures. Critically discuss. Yes, we can critically discuss things. Uh, assess when you assess something, you know, you always look not just one side as well. You assess in detail more looking, you know, environmental analysis and then assessing and critically evaluate you know so here in level seven more critically yes not one dimension if we can look around in legal and other cost and various other perspective ethical perspective as well ethical supply chain so we'll go through all this uh indicative content what we're supposed to be we have five assessment criteria in, in the learning outcome one and that will be assessed in your assignment and then lesson two will go through assess, uh, learning outcome two and assessment criteria. And we have uh, only two learning outcome, which we'll try to cover in two lessons. And the third, you know, we'll go through our assignment discussion. And these are recommended books, you know, which we can use and some already available on Moodle. Further, I'll explore and I'll send you some, you know, uh, general article. Other than that is a Google Scholar and the Kaplan is quite good to use and which I'll show you as well website. Huh? Any question? Hello, can you hear me? If you have any question, yes, please yes. you can ask. Okay. Uh, all good so far, thank you. Okay, so as we discuss and, and about supply chain management. So what is about supply chain? So what do you think it's come in supply chain? 
yes please what we think you know what what your thought about supply chain supply chain man yes in supply chain I, all the people processes and procedures in and delivering something from a raw material to the completed product to the final consumer so, a holistic view supply chain a holistic view of this process okay great so is from we can say from raw material to finish goods and final consumer. Yes, so really we need to uh, look around these. Uh, always we need to be make sure we have find the rules and uh, maybe we heard about and we learn about GIT. Yes, uh, just yes. in time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we various others, especially Japanese, are very well researched on these, and they are leading in the supply chain side, and gave lot of model and techniques as well. Of course, you know we learn about uh, we lean, lean manufacturing. Yes, so we we learn about lean. Lean manufacturing, lean supply, lean management. Where we'll try to reduce the waste. Yes. So huge blockage of cash. End of day, many company they can't sustain due to the cash flow. And cash flow and supply is quite linked with each other. So that's we need to be managed. So as supply chain, all the activities and information flow necessary for the transformation of all goods from the origin of the raw material to when the product finally consumed that's you know we need to be so it's include everything production planning purchasing material management distribution so i'm not sure we heard about eoq concept do you know eoq uh, does it stand for atomic quantity uh, yes, so you're right. Good. It's called economics order quantity. Yes. Got it. So which we can go through some formula, some maths in can be involved as well. So, but we can look around if we do order, how much order is economically. Is, so we need to be think about here. Sometimes companies offer prompt payment discount. Do we know what is meant by? We can paying immediately to a discount on the cost. Uh, yes, so if we pay within certain period of time, we can get discount. Then we can look on the bulk discount. Yes, so if we buy, how much we buy. But when we look the discount side, we need to look around the warehouse. We need to look around holding cost. Yes, we need to, especially dealing with the foreign currency, we need to look around the currency. Uh, of course, you know, currency values change. Yes. So how we can do hedge, hedge funds and hedging. So how we can protect, you know, again. So all this, you know, we need to be think about and we need to be planned for future. Okay, so managing the chain, of course, you know, primary concentrate on the movement of the following three areas material inventory information and funds so that's we need to be looking around so when we look the funds that's other area so if we look we have at the moment of course what will be the secure area of dealing with it yes so of course you know that's international trade is really matters as well so we should be well aware of because especially we have here is big issue is the vat value added tax so another part of the world is GST, general sale tax. So we need to think about, you know, because we have a lot of like, uh, even in the UK as well, certain is called um, free port. Yes. So in few places like no tax, 
can be so things can become a cheaper so we need to look around the warehouse location uh of course a lot of warehouse especially in the uk we see you know near motorways near ports that's also help us you know to manage things effectively so route planning is quite crucial as well that's also so all this information we need we need inventory management so when we do inventory do we know how many types of inventory we have types of inventory So two, two to mind are uh, durable and non-durable. Uh, yes, we can we can categorize. We can say raw material, okay. uh, work in progress, okay. and finished goods. Normally, when we open the fridge, we can find all. Huh? So yes. raw material can be meat, first suppose. And work in progress, maybe half cook and finish goes ready to eat. So we can look around. Of course, we can look around the perishable. Is it durable? And then we can choose the inventory evaluation method, which is first in, first out, last in, first out, and one is called average. Or we normally use the word FCO. So average costing and so we can calculate and we can decide the price based on among other things this will include the consideration number and location and the size of the warehouse distribution uh life cycle high value items uh of course you know when we do planning point of view of course we need to we categorize them into certain based on so that's other area we need to look around and many companies fail. Many, many companies. We have a company recently, is a BHS, British Home Store, and various other companies. They not sustain. Why they not sustain? They have a lot of inventory. Yes. And the lot of inventory we have, but the, what's the point if you not generate that quick? So is the time is really matter. Yes. How quick you can sell the inventory your process is how quick we can so that is a crucial the key elements of information required successful supply chain management potential levels of end users and the customer demands so especially when we think about the covid many companies gain many companies and many people became a billionaire some people in uk used to be 5 billion worth of asset and they have 25 billion worth of asset now just they quickly response to the COVID-19 demand and a very, very high demand and clean online demand. So daily production and distribution plan, resource availability and utilization. That's you know all we need to look around. Fund management, of course, we need to be think about liquid. What is meant by liquid? A liquidity ratios. Do we know liquid or uh, liquidity? Yes, yes uh, the amount of cash. Yes, available. so uh, not just in the in term of the cash itself, but inventory, which we can quickly convert into the cash. Yes, most okay. liquid, but the inventory sometimes is not considered as liquid like other assets. Like if we have a debtors, we have to receive money from our customer. So we can give invoice to bank and we can get discount and we can generate cash. But we normally we can't give goods to somebody. You keep my goods and give me cash. So that's the issue can be. So we need to be make sure we have an inventory that's most liquid, which which is like you know people can keep the gold instead of it. Yeah, so quickly convert into the cash. Avoid in the supply stand. So we need to be think about the things we have and we really well manage in terms of the cash or that can be convertible into cash instead of you know so the important of information technology so what's come information technology what what sort of the things come under information technology what do we think um so this first thing that comes to mind is having good solid robust erp 
Yes. ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning System, yes. This Good. could also include other systems such as warehouse management. And also uh, being able to continuously track everything in, in real time. That would depend on how good the systems are. Great. So that's, you know, when we look, uh, maybe we did a bit research about Amazon and eBay. Yes, what we think? Is there any difference I, both, both companies? Which one you consider if you have, you know, sort of how you deal with them? Right. So it seems in both of them, I believe Amazon is a lot more agile and and also uh, it, it's very consumer oriented whereas when it comes to eBay uh, disclaimer here eBay I've only bought from other sellers that are listed on eBay as opposed to eBay having their own warehouse so it, it does seem a little bit different in terms of uh, delivery times turnaround times lead times Hey, excellent. So when we look at the Amazon, Amazon is embedded so many things here. Yeah? They try to add value. Yes. Yeah? So they add value. Amazon Premier, Amazon, they own warehouse, location, movies, and so many stuff. You know, they just embedded. Even started as a bookseller on Amazon, but it became almost everything. Uh, all we need to look around the project management organization structure in supply chain management show abc manufacturing limited was responsive to its customer direct supply direct supply to be must be responsive to abc manufacturing limited indirect supply must be responsive to the direct supply too we can look around supplies how we can locate supply that's another problem we have how we can reach to suppliers is, of course, information technology can play a significant role in the finding the supplier. Are we our supplier? Yes. So we need to be, uh, of course, even sometime Google real time environment not. So we need to be really plan. Yes. The key words also really matters as well. Obvious if e business capabilities. Do we know the difference between capabilities and competency? Yes, what we think. There any so, Contextually, um, I would need some examples. Um, mm hmm so many companies they have capabilities yes capability mean ability to do something if you pass your driving test you're capable that's why you passed it right, but yes. you few months we need to display newly passed driver plate on our car because we can make make the mistakes yes so we're not competent so those companies have a competencies yes they are mile ahead in the competition. So competence is, is, is that's why most of the companies, they say oh, you have a degree, but they are, we have a degree. So what we, they are looking, they more looking competency. So this is one of the method, it's called star method of interview. Most of the company use, you know, when they look in you know, the logistic side as well. So star is stand for situation. T is task, A for action, and R for result. This is based on previous year experience. They've tried to find the competencies. So the companies, those are, they are looking the cost saving, time saving, faster innovation, better marketing, and better quality. So all these we need to be managed, which is, by saying is easy, but in real world is difficult, yes? So we can look around direct supply. 
ABC manufacturing and then customer are uh, indirect supplier one, supplier two, and then. So we can use these. So here, if we use direct supplier one to manufacturing and then manufacturing, not wholesaler and retailer directly to customer. So actually we're cutting the middleman. So we are reducing and we are increasing our profit margin. Any question? All good so far. Okay, so then we have 1.1 was, this is, you know, assessment criteria, evaluate the concept and the principal operation and supply chain management. So what's come management? What is the management? Of course, we have a three words here, S, C, and M. Yes. So what is the M first? What is the management? So in, in context of supply chain management would be overseeing the process, uh, administering the process that it is as compliant to how it needs to be in terms of the objectives, in terms of the targets. And uh, of course, if we look at it holistically, uh, that in terms, in terms of technology and cost, everything is as aligned as it needs to be. Mm -hmm. so, so an overall governing. If, if you are a manager in the supply chain, management is the process of designing an environment. You have to design an environment. Yes. Why you have to design an environment to achieve your pre-selected objective. Because every organization, you have some objective of through. So you have to design an environment. It's up to you. You relocate it. You send via airline. You send via, yes, which cargo mm -hmm. you will use. But think about if you're saving the cost, but think about the customer satisfaction. Think about the future order. Think about the customer service. Think about the quality of goods, yes? That's all related to each other. Maybe we are more cost focused, yes? Are we using still Nokia? We are using Nokia, no? No, no more. No anymore, why not? Uh, because Nokia okay, has uh, failed to adopt to the continuously changing environment of, uh, yes, of cell phones so, when it mm. comes to both. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right. So we need to, why the Nokia is reached at that position, why is Apple is increased market shares? Mm -hmm. So Nokia, uh, yes, uh, sorry, yes, please. I was just going to say that uh, two things. Uh, first, the, the changing changing consumer demand, uh, and also the technological push by Apple itself. These two things uh, going hand in hand enabled Apple to take over, uh, capture a larger market share. Yes, but the Nokia was the old company. Why did they not transform? Why did they not change it? themselves compared to the apple why they not change the supply chain why they not change other things yes so we need, we need it's a question mark for nokia itself so nokia ceo decide you know close many research and development centers throughout the world to save the cost and increase the cash we can increase the cash for time being but ultimately what will be happen in the long run one of the great scholars said, either you're 80 and 20, stop learning, you become older. So we need to be carry on continuous improvement. So supply chain management is the planning and management of all the activities and sourcing, procurement, conversion, and all logistics. So management activities, important. Yes, we need to be, it also include the coordination. Coordination, coordination between what? Is it coordination with just outside supply? Or do we need to be coordination internally? Both. Both. Yes. So we have sometimes real issues in uh, within our organizations as well. 
you know, the raising purchase order, purchase order authorization problem, some politics involved as well. Behind, uh, behind the scene is the commission issues. Then ultimately these leads to the various issues in our organization and poor performance of overall organization due to the supply chain is not effectively and the CN not quite quickly made. So include the coordination with the channel and the partners. So we look around even within our organization, how smooth system we have between departments, marketing. Yes, we order the things, we have things, but the marketing department is start late advertising. That can be huge impact. So third party service provider and the customer, we can look around what licensing requirement we have, what we can supply chain management, integrated supply and demand management. Demand. We learn about law of demand and supply. Yes. Law of demand and supply in economics. So that's, that's also we can apply in terms of the supply chain management. Yes. What is my really point where my demand and supply is equal? Do I need really supply more than the demand? If I need it, why I need it? And what sort of the goods I'm dealing with? It? All we need to be planned. Of, uh, of course, you know, we need to be look around particular. So enterprise point of view, the companies to apply the system approach, supply chain operation reference, and GSCF is a global supply chain forum. The framework identify the five key processes plan, source, make, deliver, and return. So that's huge. What do you think here? If we not, we don't have a department, this one, return department, yes? It can create the problem we have in the UK is called Sales Good Act. 1979 if goods not fit for a purpose you as a consumer you have a right to return if you break it if you will be in a public domain and of course you know all the reviews everything so we need to be think about so these are we can look around the framework and we can plan any question all clear Uh, no question. Okay. So next we have GSCF framework. We have eight processes we can. Customer relationship management, CRM. That is quite area which we need to be look around whatever, whichever and uh, our type of organization, CRM. Is it effective or not? Customer service management. Okay, to look around more, we have a model call. Have we heard or maybe learned? Survey call model, we can do a bit of research. We can find the gaps and we can explore it where the gaps we have. This is also known as a gaps model. Yes, what the customer expect, where we have a gap and we'll try to address it. Demand management, order fulfillment, manufacturing, flow management, supplier relationship management, product development, commercialization, and return management. So under this GS, GSCF framework, we need to be, these eight processes, we need to be focused on it. Each ha can be huge impact, and that's all in you know, a part of the supply chain management. Any question? Okay, so next we looking the key attribute supply chain management, customer power. Of course, customer is the king. Yes, huge power. Fast supply chain, a gale supply chain, focus on the customer ability to respond to the chain demand because we are quite, you know, so we can look around how quickly chain things. Traditional factor driven push supply. Maybe we heard about push and pull. Yes. Push supply chain should be replaced by the customer centric pull oriented. Yes. Not pushing. 
because when we do advertising oh no it's a last chance we pushing them they come to us but when we are like you know many company they saying you no know, and thinking what's the point to be spend money million on our advertising why not do the social work and motivate people and then they buy our goods building school building road displaying our own board there instead of spending million on sponsoring and ultimately same customer need to buy our goods yes are providing goods cheaper to the customer cutting the middleman so that's you know perfect orders we can look around genius achievement of the relevant customer metrics on time delivery and the correct order delivery yes on time delivery that's really matters because otherwise compensation schemes will come so long term orientation uh, relational exchange long term relationship we need to be think transactional exchange short term relationship with the company and partnership we are now making partners partnerships because we looking if we look areas like service quality can lead to customer satisfaction sorry my okay customer satisfaction leads to customer loyalty and customer loyalty can make you know we can make the partner in the business yes later on so we can think about how we can that's all you know the loyalty schemes and things so we can keep you know customer and of course supply chain you know we can manage that way as well being technology computing power and internet of course is a huge you know and we have a lot of software yes any particular software you using at the moment or you think is better to use logistic um, i'm using a crm software right now at work crm okay yeah that's that's good customer relationship management system it can be various and uh, of course you know we can look around which one is suits us because unfortunately lot of company they say oh no 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 let's assume you know we can buy ibm system 3090 but unfortunately maybe we don't have all the tacking all the electronics yes all the scanning machines and we are buying the system which is ibm system 39 it won't work yes effectively like you know walmart and various other they are using this system because they have everything so we have to be not copy the system which other company use we need to look around our own environment our own culture where we are and that's why we say think globally act locally yes so we need to be think that system fit for local uh, of course point of sales information stocking all you know we can get it okay so we have uh, here little video as well effect you know so we can watch in our own time yes please so we can discuss in the next class okay so inventory control effect is the distribution channel phenomena which is demand forecast yield supply chain inefficiency do we know have we ever heard about 3 e's 3 e's concept one is called economy what do you think second can be effectiveness efficiency excellent efficiency so what do you think what is the key difference between this these three so economy would uh, it would relate to how co- uh, in terms of cost mm mm-hmm. how effectiveness is it how how impactful it is in terms of delivering what in terms of the objective and efficiency would be how quick uh speed is please correct me wrong uh, no no that's fine uh, the way you said it's fine okay if we we'll measure someone performance how we can what what is come in performance we always look that somebody how much time somebody took took okay. here and the output how much is cost us 
and what was the quality of the activity which someone involved huh? yes so time itself is a cost yes of course we pay it if someone is very good in these time and the cost using less time using less material yes we can say here material huh? so but you know sometimes we say oh it's a wonderful food but unfortunate the person who deal was not you know yes wasn't good customer behavior yes mm -hmm. so maybe food and the quality is good goods are goods but unfortunate will say the quality of service wasn't good yes so effectiveness is all about benchmark what we set it yes if somebody our our customer implies is meeting the benchmark is very effective if i can give you example first suppose if we need to produce something we have input we have processes and then we have output yes so when we compare my we take 10 minutes to make one unit need 2 kg material including waste and we set 80 percent customer need to be satisfied yes with our product so if somebody think that is very effective yes because this is an industry benchmark if somebody using instead of 10 minutes using nine minutes yes what do you think now that become very economical yes 10 minutes will uh, 8 minutes or 6 minutes will save the cost so that's very economical when we'll say efficient so we're using less material let's say not using 2 kg exact maybe using 1.5 kg because the waste we are reducing it and the customer satisfaction instead of 80 is going 90 percent customer are satisfied with us benchmark so we can say the person our efficiency so we need to be think about how we can efficiently more we need to be focus on efficiencies not just you know effectiveness any question here any question all clear okay so we can look around you know all the plus and minuses always we're looking more focusing on and this is inventory ship effect you know which we can use and it's good to watch the video as well huh? please okay right. okay then just about zero reducing yes we all about the lean yes zero defect yes involve you know reduction in amount of inventory in the supply chain and the man made you know cost profit and all can you know always we need to be make sure we'll manage you know there shouldn't be any issues in these always we need to calibrate and work as a single unit that will also help you know to reduce uh, the wastage cooperation supply chain management formal informal and that's we need to be for the look around okay then we have a 1.2 critically discuss the key driver what are the key drivers production inventory location and transportation yes what we think can we make any difference in these yes in each of them uh, we can attempt to target these attempt to cut down the time potentially cut down the cost excellent so of course you know and we can bring in service issues as well yes so we can look around you know the people are trained level two in customer care customer service because someone is dealing to someone yes mm -hmm. so that's you know the service itself you know acknowledge yes and deliver effectively so information can play transportation of course route planning yes also which road which transport which location which area and especially you know these really matter that's that's why you know between china and the rest of the world you know the issue is going around huh? and china is really focusing on this so production the driver can be made every responsible by building factories so a lot of companies they 
in the middle of the sea even even the building the warehouse in the middle of the sea yes so can be and then other issues is going around maybe blockage can be in the seas and the issues between conflict countries like you know back in russia's gas uh, russia basically turn off the gas you know uh, good european countries few times so they focus alternative supply chain the so they focus more norway and various other part of the world as well so do you have a different source of supply don't rely on one source of inventories which we earlier said as well yes so all we need to be look around the location planning inventories stock is a huge you know cost involved location planning location planning is quite crucial as well how we can how we can plan the location let's say we want to deliver in pakistan which location will be the best location so right now i would uh, i would choose karachi being a sea city uh, having having a port large enough to accommodate ships uh, and but then again that would also depend on uh, what type of inventory it is how soon it needs to be delivered because i understand in certain circumstances air transport is also used however if you're talking about mass manufactured goods uh, then i would choose a form of sea travel and the import of destination and the city of destination excellent so is need to be look around all the factors and the cost and the product types and things so transportation yes okay we promise to our customer will deliver in the 48 hours yes or we will deliver the next day delivery and we promise it but we can't so what do you think so that's a huge you know transportation issue so royal may lose the contract with amazon due to they can't really deliver the promise of amazon yes so amazon is not delivering their own yes they only have a system to monitor it in the warehouse that's all even warehouse you can get the space in the warehouse you can buy the space of course you know these all the company they have a partnership so you have to be make sure how effective we have transportation and the our partner how well because you know not just the fedex because if we will hire the fedex ups or various others what cost will be involved yes mm-hmm. it's a huge why not our own but need to be information yes so how quick you know information like you know you order the food for suppose how quick the information goes to chef and how quick the chef cook it and deliver it and how many orders we have that's you know is crucial if we have all no even in take away as best friend people use the tablets and the electronic screens and thing or the state goes in the kitchen to chef instead of you know receptionist take the orders and then you know taking and this little receipt to and giving order to and somebody is running around always huh? in kitchen so we can look around how the information can flow okay then next 1.3 is assess how effective operation and supply chain management enhance competitiveness okay we'll go through different competitive forces and competitiveness which is quite you know and we can look around maybe a couple of you learn about porter generic strategies have we learned about porter generic strategies is it the same as the porter five forces uh yes in porter five forces we can look around the competitive forces yes revivery and yes supplier power bargaining powers and all and porter generic is we can look around cost leadership yes okay a cost focus a differentiation focus so efficient and responsive yes how quickly your response yes is very very crucial so companies and supply chain management continues adjust you know their mix 
of the responsiveness and efficiency as the situation change. Yes, we need to shifting the balance between two needs. Yes, overall long run and the cost of one driver information continues to drop while the cost of other four drivers continues to rise. Yes, so we need to be make sure and always we keep in mind what is happening to pests. Do we know? Of course, we'll, we learn somewhere, yes. Political, economic, social and technological factors, yes. How rapidly change and how we quickly, you know. Any question? Okay, uh, next we have here, think about responsive and efficiency production. Access capacity, yes. Little excess capacity. Flexible manufacturing, narrow focus. We want, yes, many smaller plants, few central plants. So how quickly you will see the both you know, approaches. Inventory, high inventory levels, efficiency, low inventory levels, yes. So that's why it's more coming about like uh, we know Dell computer, Dell. So Dell is moved to and they use the direct business model and they set up the factory in India, taking order advance and delivering in 21 days. Yes. So we can look around how that approach can be and the model business model ready carry on chaining location, transportation and information. All these, you know, we can focus on responsiveness and efficiency. Okay, so efficiencies which we already explained. Yes, what is meant by we need to be focused on responsiveness. We need to be better in 21st century. If we don't, you know, we can't really sustain a right mix of efficiencies and responsiveness. Yes, we need not just focus on the efficiency and the next day demand little bit fluctuate and we don't have a capacity. Yes, we have a big problem, you know, in uh, company that's, you know, we need to be because they work 100% on. So there is some 10% at least or 5% should be. Okay, like maybe a couple of you watch, you know, the United uh, United Airlines in America, they overbooking policy. They always overbook and they always expect, you know, there are the 5% people cancel the flights. And we book 105%. And 100% will be utilized. But it's not happened once, twice. They have, you know, the the one of the doctor was boarding and they just said, you can't travel. And they forcefully and said. So then that went in the media and the company reduced the share value 30% instant. 30% is a huge reduction. So we need to think about supply chain. 1.4, we have a critically evaluated the decision making. As earlier we said, selecting the best course of action created. We can look around the creating linear supply chain. Yes, procurement, manufacturing, warehouse, and always we're looking, try to be investigate where the waste we have. Key decision improvement, supply chain, inventory management, improve your distribution network. Wise distribution strategy, that's, you know, strategy means the action plan. Segregating your corporate and supply chain strategies. I create, you know, modern supply chain, customer cash management, and uh, we'll go through some case study. Uh, next lesson, which is one of Zara's case study, how Zara has changed the supply chain. Customer cash control and set the performance benchmark. Yes, these are some example improve supply chain operations so we can look around okay so sorry i think so i don't know what's happened so standard shipping same day shipping prime yes so we can look around all these you know prime customer and then 1.5 we ha have a critically review the application of strategic approaches so we can look around various sort of push and pull approach 
as we earlier explained, you know, so we can apply those upstream yes, supply chain e procurement. We can focus, you know, finding suitable supplier, choosing supplier to order. And always we need to look around how form, you know, and the details, how quick we can get it. Like, you know, auto search postcodes and things, you know, can be uh, e sourcing, covering the electronic, you know, the method of finding the new suppliers, established contract. We need to be look around e tacking, e electronic, uh, smart factory concept is all about when the goods come in, auto scan, even allocate the location when it's go out, always, you know, the auto marking how many goods we have in the warehouse. So that's we need to be look around. Okay. Hello. Uh, benefits and the risk of e procurement. Of course, there can be restructuring. Restructuring of supply chain. We need to look around downstream of supply chain, providing display to retailers. Yes, that's you know we can offering the creating website and users giving you know and creating their own page on the websites as well that technique we can use our various you know deliveries uh, various companies using these techniques already as well now and advantage and disadvantage downstream each you know being discussed here we can compare the customer increase switching costs and disadvantage can be expensive to improvement uh, thus you know we have hello five assessment criteria 1.5 Dealing with the intermediaries, yes. Thus, we need to be uh, used effectively, and these are the reference, you know, which we can use. Please, in the next lesson, uh, refer to the book journal we have already on Moodle. So, please, today lesson we discuss about supply chain and supply chain planning and different strategies we can use, you know. So please, in the next lesson, we'll focus a lot. If you have any question, anyone, please drop me email on my email address, anyamekukversity.co.uk. Thanks for listening and attending, and I hope you know speak to you all during our next lesson.